Hi, Lily. How are you? Hi, Robin. I am fine, thanks for asking. As I told you last night about English, have you remembered? Can you please help me with my English? Yes. I can recall about the English problem you said. I can't speak English fluently. I practice, but it's hard for me to speak confidently. How long have you been practicing? I have been practicing for the last two months. Robin, one effective strategy is to speak slowly and focus on your breathing. Take your time with each word, and it can make a big difference. Another tip is to expand your vocabulary. Robin, try incorporating new words into your daily conversations. It can help you feel more confident and articulate. Positive affirmations can be powerful. Robin, repeat after me, I am a confident and fluent speaker. I am a confident and fluent speaker. Excellent. Remember, positive affirmations can reshape your mindset. I have another problem if you can assist me with that. Sure. Tell me what's the problem? Actually, I am also trying to speak like a native speaker. Oh, that's great. Go ahead. What's the problem then? I can't speak like a native speaker. I tried but failed. One of my friend told there are some people who are not good with foreign languages, and I am one of them. Ha ha ha. I see. That friend of yours is not right. That's a myth. A myth? No, that's true. I wasn't born to speak like foreigner. And I am one of them. Look, there are a lot of myths about learning English, and that's one of them. Really then that's not true, I am not terrible at learning different languages. Of course you can learn if you start practicing properly. Shall I leave now? No, wait there is another problem. What exactly is the problem? My car won't start. Have you tried turning the key? Yes, I did, nothing happened. Did you check if the battery is working? No, how can I do that? You can use a multimeter. I don't have one. What else can I do? You can ask someone for a jump start. What's a jump start? It's when you use another vehicle's battery to start your car. Oh, and how do you do that? You do it with jumper cables. Do you like to speak English? Yes, I like to speak English a lot. Why do you like to speak English? There are many reasons for that I like. What is the main purpose of learning English? Well, the main purpose of learning English is my career. That's great to hear. What do you enjoy most about speaking English? Well, I find English to be a expressive language. It allows me to communicate with people from all around the world, which is pretty amazing. Do you learn grammar to improve your English? Yes, sometimes I learn grammar, but I focus mainly on practicing English more. Then will I be not able to speak English if I don't learn grammar? No, grammar is not required for speaking English, as we didn't learn grammar to speak our language. Why do people learn grammar for learning English? Because it makes easier the process of learning English. Do you find grammar challenging? At times, yes. English grammar can be quite complex, but I think practice and consistency are key to mastering it. Talking about past activities. What did you do last weekend? I visited the zoo and had a picnic with my friends. That sounds like a lot of fun. How was the weather? It was sunny and warm, perfect for being outdoors. I spent the weekend at home catching up on raiding. That sounds relaxing. Sometimes a quiet weekend is nice. Inviting someone. We are having a barbecue on Saturday. Would you like to join us? That sounds fantastic. I would love to come. Great. We'll start grilling around 3 p.m. Feel free to bring a dish. I will bring some drinks and snacks. Looking forward to it. Perfect. It's going to be a fun gathering. 
Thanks for inviting me. See you on Saturday. Have you ever been to Paris? Yes, I went there last summer. It was an amazing trip. What were your favorite things to do there? I loved visiting the Eiffel Tower and exploring the Louvre. Sounds like a dream. I hope to visit Paris someday. You definitely should. It's a beautiful city with so much to offer. Talking about futures plans. What are you going to do next month? I'm planning to take a short vacation and visit my grandparents. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Where do they live? They live in a charming little town by seaside. It must be relaxing to spend time there. Will you stay long? Just a week, but I'm really looking forward to it. Talking about health and well being. Hey, how have you been feeling lately? I have been pretty good, thanks for asking. How about you? I've been a bit tired. I think I need more sleep. Sleep is important for your well being. Are you stressed? Yeah, work has been quite hectic recently. You might want to consider some relaxation techniques. Like what? Maybe try meditation or going for a walk in nature. That sounds nice. I also need to eat healthier. Eating balanced meals and staying hydrated can make a difference. You're right. I should cook more at home. Cooking can be enjoyable and healthier than eating out. I'll start with a salad for dinner tonight. That's a great step towards taking care of yourself. Talking about favorite music. What type of music do you like? I'm really into pop and rock music. How about you? I love jazz and classical music. It's so soothing. Jazz is great for relaxing. Do you play any instruments? I play the piano. I play the piano. It's my way of unwinding after a long day. How exciting! Playing music with others must be fun. That's wonderful. I play the violin in a local orchestra. Any plans for the weekend? I'm thinking of going to the beach on Saturday. Sounds fun. The weather is supposed to be nice. Yeah, I'm hoping to swim and relax by the shore. I might go hiking on Sunday. There's a trail I want to explore. Hiking sounds adventurous. Don't forget to stay hydrated. I'll carry plenty of water and some snacks with me. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a cat named Luna. She's adorable. I've always wanted a pet. Cats are so independent. They are, and they can be really affectionate too. How do you take care of Luna's grooming? I brush her regularly and take her to the vet for checkups. That's responsible pet ownership. Maybe I'll adopt a pet someday. It can be a rewarding experience, but it's also a big commitment. What are your plans for the future? I'm studying to become a doctor. I want to help people. That's a noble goal. It must be a lot of hard work. It is, but I'm passionate about it. How about you? I'm working towards opening my own business someday. Entrepreneurship sounds exciting. What kind of business? I'm thinking of starting a small cafe with a focus on organic food. That's a great idea, especially with the growing health trend. I hope it will make a positive impact on the community. Discussing favorite books. Have you read any good books recently? Yes, I just finished a fantasy novel called The Enchanted Realm. Oh, I've heard of that one. How did you like it? I loved it. The world building and characters were amazing. I'm currently reading a mystery novel called The Silent Witness. Mystery novels can be so captivating. What's it about? It's about a detective solving a complex murder case. That sounds intriguing. Do you enjoy reading mysteries? Definitely, I enjoy trying to solve the puzzle along with the detective. I might check it out after I'm done with this fantasy series. Let me know what you think when you do. Talking about favorite movies, do you have a favorite movie genre? I'm a fan of science fiction films. How about you? 
I love romantic comedies. They always make me smile. Romantic comedies can be quite heartwarming. Any favorites? The Proposal and Crazy, Stupid, Love are among my top picks. I've seen The Proposal. It's quite funny. What's it about? It's about a woman who convinces her assistant to marry her. That sounds like a hilarious premise. I'll have to watch it. You won't be disappointed. Let me know if you need more suggestions. Planning a weekend getaway. I was thinking of going on a short trip this weekend. That sounds like a great idea. Where are you thinking of going? I've heard there's a charming town a few hours away. That sounds lovely. What do they have to offer? They have beautiful hiking trails and a historic downtown area. Count me in. I could use a break from the city. Great, I'll look up accommodations and let you know. Should we pack some snacks and a camera for the hike? Definitely, and maybe a map of the trails as well. I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks for suggesting it, Oliver. Talking about languages. Do you speak any other languages besides English? I'm fluent in Spanish. My parents are from Spain. That's impressive. I've always wanted to learn a second language. It's a rewarding experience. Have you tried learning one? I've dabbled in French, but I never got very far. French is beautiful. Maybe you could give it another shot. I might. How did you become fluent in Spanish? I practiced with my family and took some classes in school. I'll consider taking some classes too. Thanks for the encouragement. Discussing favorite foods. What's your favorite type of cuisine? I absolutely love Italian food. Pasta and pizza are my weaknesses. Italian cuisine is delicious. I'm a fan of Mexican food myself. Tacos and guacamole, right? Exactly. And I enjoy cooking Mexican dishes at home too. That sounds fun. Do you have a favorite recipe? I make a mean batch of chicken enchiladas. Now I'm craving some enchiladas. We should have a food night. That's a fantastic idea. Let's plan it for next weekend. Talking about travel experiences. Have you been on any memorable trips recently? Yes, I went on a backpacking adventure in the mountains. That sounds amazing. How was the experience? It was challenging but incredibly rewarding. The views were breathtaking. I've always wanted to go on a mountain hike. Any tips? Make sure to pack light but bring essential gear like sturdy shoes. Noted. I recently visited a coastal town and enjoyed the beach. Beach vacations are so relaxing. Which town did you visit? I went to a small town called Blue Cove. It was charming. Exploring new places is always exciting. Where to next? I'm considering a road trip to visit several national parks. That sounds like an incredible adventure. Enjoy your travels. Discussing weekend activities. What are you up to this weekend? I'm planning to attend a local music festival on Saturday. That sounds like a lot of fun. Who's performing? There's a mix of indie bands and some well-known artists. I might tag along if that's okay. I love live music. Of course, the more the merrier. We can grab some food too. Sounds like a perfect plan. On Sunday, I'll be gardening. Gardening can be so relaxing. What do you grow? I have a variety of flowers and some herbs like basil and mint. Fresh herbs are a great addition to any home cooked meal. Absolutely. Let's catch up after the festival and share stories. Talking about daily routines. What's your typical daily routine like? I usually start my day with a workout and a healthy breakfast. 
That's a good way to kickstart the day. Then what? I head to work, where I spend most of my day. And after work? I like to unwind by reading or going for a walk in the park. Reading is a great way to relax. What genre do you prefer? I enjoy a mix of fiction and self improvement books. That's a balanced approach. I often watch a movie in the evenings. Movies can be a nice way to wind down too. Any favorites? I'm a fan of action and adventure films. They're so thrilling. We all need some excitement in our lives, right? Talking about seasons. Which season do you enjoy the most? I love autumn. The changing colors and crisp air are beautiful. Autumn is indeed picturesque. I prefer summer for the warmth. Summer is perfect for outdoor activities and vacations. Agreed. Do you have any special traditions for each season? In winter, my family and I build snowmen and go ice skating. That sounds like a lot of fun. I associate spring with gardening. Spring is great for planting and watching nature come to life. Each season has its own charm and unique experiences. That's the beauty of living in a place with distinct seasons. Discussing favorite sports. Are you a fan of any sports? I love playing and watching soccer. It's so exciting. Soccer is a popular sport worldwide. Do you play on a team? I used to play on a local team, but now I just play casually. I enjoy swimming and occasionally go to the pool. Swimming is a fantastic workout. Do you have any favorite strokes? I prefer freestyle and backstroke. They're the most comfortable for me. I've always wanted to try swimming. Maybe I'll give it a shot. It's never too late to learn. Swimming can be a lifelong skill. Discussing technology. How do you feel about modern technology? I think it's amazing how much technology has advanced. Agreed. It has changed the way we live and communicate. Definitely. I can't imagine life without smartphones. They've become such an essential part of our daily routines. And what about social media? Do you use it often? I do, but I try to limit my usage to stay present in the moment. That's a good approach. I also enjoy streaming movies online. Streaming platforms offer a wide variety of entertainment. True. Do you have any concerns about technology's impact? I think it's important to find a balance and disconnect sometimes. I agree. It's all about using technology mindfully. Talking about cultural differences, have you traveled to different countries? Yes, I've been fortunate to visit a few countries. Did you notice any interesting cultural differences? Absolutely. In Japan, for example, bowing is a common greeting. That's fascinating. In some cultures, hugging is more common. It's intriguing how customs can vary so much. I once traveled to India and was amazed by the vibrant festivals. Festivals are a great way to experience a culture's traditions. Indeed. It's important to respect and appreciate cultural diversity. Learning about different cultures enriches our perspectives. Planning a celebration. My birthday is coming up. Any ideas for a celebration? How about a small gathering at your place? That sounds nice. What kind of food should we have? We could do a potluck with everyone bringing their favorite dish. Good idea. And some music to set the mood? Definitely. I can create a playlist with your favorite songs. Thanks, Emma. It's been a while since I had a party. I'm glad I could help. Let's make it a memorable birthday. Discussing environmental awareness. Are you conscious about environmental issues? Yes, I try to reduce my carbon footprint and recycle. 
That's important. Small actions can make a big difference. Absolutely. Using reusable bags and reducing plastic helps too. Have you considered using public transportation or biking? I use public transport often, and I've been thinking about biking more. Biking is eco friendly and good for your health. It's a win win. We all need to do our part to protect the planet. I couldn't agree more. Every effort counts. Talking about future aspirations. Where do you see yourself in five years? I hope to have advanced in my career and traveled more. Traveling is a great way to gain new experiences. I also want to continue learning and maybe take up a new hobby. Learning new things keeps life exciting. Any specific hobbies? I've always wanted to learn how to play a musical instrument. That's a wonderful goal. It's never too late to start. Thanks, Emily. What about you? What are your aspirations? I'm considering further education and exploring entrepreneurship. Those sound like exciting paths. I wish you the best, Emily. Talking about work life balance. How do you manage your work life balance? It can be challenging, but I try to set boundaries. Boundaries are important. Do you have any strategies? I make sure to disconnect from work during my off hours. That's a good practice. I sometimes find it hard to unwind. Finding activities you enjoy outside of work can help. I've been trying to spend more time with my family. Family time is precious. It's important to recharge. Agreed. A healthy balance makes us more productive too. Absolutely. We should prioritize our well being. Discussing educational goals. Are you currently studying anything? I'm taking online courses to improve my coding skills. Coding is a valuable skill in today's job market. It's a field I've always been interested in. How about you? I'm considering pursuing a master's degree in psychology. That sounds like a rewarding path. What area of psychology? I'm interested in child development and counseling. That's important work. Helping others is truly admirable. Thank you, David. Learning is a